Hello, folks out there in YouTube land. It is I, the Robozoid. Yeah, I know, there's construction going on outside. Can't be helped, can't do anything about that. So we'll just ignore it. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, it's official. The cast of Avengers Endgame hates Tree Larson. Now, I've already been asked, Robbie, why do you call Brie Larson Tree Larson? Well, <laughs> because her acting is so wooden. It's good enough for you? Well, basically, we had a sit-down interview with Tree Larson and uh, Jeremy Renner, um, who plays, I think he plays Hawkeye. I'm not really sure because I never really watched the Avengers movies, but I do believe he plays Hawkeye. Uh, and then there is another one, of course, and we've already covered the Chris Hemsworth stuff and the Don Cheadle stuff. Cheadle, of course, uh, he played War Machine. And... Um, <clears throat> So we already covered that, but apparently the rest of the cast can't speak for Chris Evans. I don't like him either. <laughs> but uh, the rest of the Avengers cast absolutely hate Tree Larson's guts. Here's the interview with Jeremy Renner, and you'll see what I mean. All right, this is the interviewer. Now. Look at it with responsibility. I mean, I'm... I am committed to self-improvement, and I work at being the best person that I can be and using... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about me, 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 me. I'm committed to being the best person I can be. Never mind the fact that I'm sitting here with a fine actor. and We don't get along at all. It's all about me. And furthermore, I gotta ask this question. What the hell is up with that poofy, frilly blouse she's wearing? I mean, I like a woman who buttons up, obviously, but what is this thing? I mean, seriously, that's something that even a 16th century princess would be embarrassed to wear. Oh, well, continue. This platform for as much good as I can, but it doesn't mean that I don't make mistakes, but I'm very comfortable with Lady, that. Lady, you make tons of mistakes. I'm learn from those mistakes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty accountable and responsible in my own life, at any rate, so... Um, Celebrity is not something that I, I use as any sort of platform to, you know, to, be, to be more responsible or accountable, I suppose. But right answer, Jeremy. Right answer. Because who cares what a celebrity has to say about anything? See, at least Jeremy Renner is smart in this way, <laughs> that he doesn't use his celebrity to basically push an agenda, whereas Tree Larson, on the other hand, is perfectly happy to do so. Because that's all what, and that's what it's all about. It's all about, oh, I'm victimized because I'm a whammon. Oh, you know, they treat me and they treat me differently because I'm a whammon. Oh, shut up. Only person treating themselves differently is you, Tree Larson. And again, what the hell is up with that blouse? Uh, it's, it's certainly an absolute uh, blessing to um, see the joy on, right. on, on kids' faces. Yeah. That... Um, couldn't be the, 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 I don't think there's a, a feeling that comes close to that. Absolutely, you guys are entertaining the entire world. You know, when you guys watch, when you guys watch, when really is, when you watch it, you see, fan, like we watch all at least TV Jeremy before, talks about the fans, <clears throat> the looks on the kids' faces, just caring about the fans, whereas Tree Larson yeah. only cares about one it person, I mean, herself. If something like this, I think I will definitely be sitting there as a fan, just because we haven't seen it. So we'll be sitting there in the theater, watching it with an audience, seeing it for the first time, so right. it'll be a thrill. Right. You know, if you could use any superhero power from the Avengers and use it in the real world, whose power would it be and where would you use it? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, you need some time to think about this little girl? Come on, say it. You know you want to. You know you just want to say Captain Marvel's powers because she's the strongest and bestest ever. I like fly. I think anybody could fly. 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 I know Captain school. Marvel can fly. fly. I feel like I'd probably like, fly just because I'd, like I'd like to travel and it seems like it'd be a lot easier. Yeah, because you Captain know, Marvel can fly. fly. I'd rather fly. You never that. mind the dozens of other superheroes you can fly. All the actors are together on a set. What is that? We like? may or may not know what that's like. We have no idea. Um, yeah, I've worked with them all in the past, uh, and nothing gets done. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, but nothing gets done. Well, working with an imbecile like that, Jeremy, I know nothing gets done. But you can clearly see... Wait, let me get rid of the interviewer here. I feel like I came in at a really special time. Right. Mm -hmm. So, in particular, like my first 
day really at work was doing the Marvel 10 year anniversary photo. So my introduction into this world was I got to hang out with everybody and meet everybody. So I felt very comfortable then. When yeah, I and that's why they hate my guts because they got to know me so well. <laughs> Is there any competition between the different sects, the different groups? There's no competition for me because I'm the strongest, so it's just kind of like a different... Oh, yeah, she might have think that, but... Yeah. It's not. As you I've are. said before, it's not... It's just a fact. It's not a personal opinion. No, and no. it's not a reflection on what... Jesus Christ. Do you know what humus is, Tree? Do you know what humus is? Humus is the ability to be humble, to have humiliation, a sense of humility, and also, above all, a sense of humor. You, Tree Larson, seem to lack all of these traits in spades. You can't do, but it is also kind of a reflection on all the it's things. Hey, you want to see some interesting stats here? This is from the comics, showing us that Thor is clearly stronger than Captain Marvel, will any will ever hope to be. Carol, through an asteroid weighing 4.6 million tons, Thor... Lifted a lifted the weight of twenty planets, you know, weighing about one hundred and thirty-two sextillion tons. I didn't even know sextillion was a real number. I guess it is, but but nevertheless, yeah. But nevertheless, we clearly see that Thor is stronger and always will be. So in your face, in your face, Captain Twatwaffle. Want more stats? We've got them. Here's more of Thor versus Karen versus Captain Marvel in the strength department, and this is in striking power. Carol killed a T-Rex with one punch pulverized asteroid. Wait a minute. Killed a T-Rex? No, forget it. Thor, when fighting Beta Ray Bill, he hit him so hard he accidentally destroyed the planet they were fighting on. Whoops! Oh well. That might have been an accident, but still, I think it proves that Thor is the strongest. Ooh, burn! Well, which is very powerful people meeting each other, powerful people all being in, in one room, powerful people that all have very specific skills working together to form a team. But who cares? I'm the strongest one ever! Because there actually is an I in T-E-A-M. So, uh, what else is there to say? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to mention this. Of course, Disney is doing this only because they want Captain Marvel to gross enough money to outgross Wonder Woman. Come on, we know realistically that's never going to happen. That Wonder Woman is just a classic superheroine in the DC universe, and who is Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel, to my memory, was Shazam from the DC universe. And this Captain Marvel chick, she is just a D-list superhero. No one's interested in her, no one's invested in her. So here's my advice to all of you people who are going to go see the, who are going to go see the Avengers Endgame tonight. Show up late. Just show up late to the theater. You know, if Disney's trying to make you see Captain Marvel before seeing Avengers Endgame, stick it to them and show up late. Sometimes chronic tardiness is a good thing. <laughs> oh well, I think I'm going to leave you on this note. With more of the stupidity and idiocy of Tree Larson. Seriously, she's the same age as a crazy O'Cortex. What is it with you 29-year-old girls? Do you not think... Information. We've seen her kind of grow and evolve and have ownership of these powers. And more than anything, we've just seen how incredibly strong she is. Oh, God. She, it's all about how strong I am. Because I'm the bestest superhero ever. Oh, and seriously, what the hell is up with that leather jacket? I mean, yeah, I thought the frilly blouse she was wearing in that other interview was strange. But, God... This looks like something that even Andrew Dice Clay would be embarrassed to wear. But I think very quickly they understand that this is someone that they want to be on their team and that they're sort of, their hands are tied at this point. They've done the best that they can do and came up short, so. Every day 
is condescending bitch day, la la la.